the anti-government protests entered their home stretch on the third day. Levels of calm and normalcy were witnessed in several parts of the country. Other parts like Mathare and Woodley still witnessed standoffs between the police and the public. The government and the opposition are still holding on to their tight ropes, with the recent news indicating that the Wiper Party leader has been under house arrest for the past three days. A political affairs reporter has prepared a report on the week of the protest. Here is more on the same. It has been three days of tension, horror, deafening bullet sounds, and street battles between the police and the public. <laughs> Many of the events that have transpired this week have exposed the state of the country vis-a-vis -vis the independence of our state organs. The constitution, the supreme law of the land, yet again put to the test as different organs stipulated to serve the country defied it. The police have played a conspicuous role in this week's demonstrations, even receiving a thumbs up from the head of state. Na mimi nataka nishukuru askari wetu wa polisi wameweka amani katika taifa letu la Kenya. Over 300 people have been arrested this week during the anti-government protests, among them being the top leadership of the Azimio la Umoja party, including Wiper leader Kalonzo Msioka, who has been put under house arrest as of Tuesday evening, Babu Owino, who has been in police custody for the past three days after he landed from the JKIA on Tuesday night. Member of Parliament for Mbakasi East, Babu Owino, was arrested three days ago for conspiracy to cause chaos and was arraigned in court on Friday. Friday morning at the Milimani Law Courts, the police made a move of unprecedented defiance to the rule of law when they snatched the Embakasi East MP from court when he was just about to be bailed out. <laughs> The sights witnessed at the law court saw advocates and members of the fourth estate roughly driven out of the courtrooms. My appeal to the law professor, to think he was my lecturer, that this post, uh, post arrest beyond 24 hours without being taken to court, pre trial detentions, and, and also the issues of you know, uh, we have the heat squad going over in slum. We have been chased. We, we went to pay cash bill there, and then we have been chased from, from there by until. So without Article 49 of the Constitution provides that an arrested person be arraigned in court not later than 24 hours and that he or she should be charged or informed of the reason for the arrest and be released on bond or bail on reasonable conditions unless there are compelling reasons not to be released. These recent crackdowns of detaining Azimio leaders and other protesters without trial have been seen as a tactic by the Kenya Kwanzaa government to diffuse further chaos arising from demonstrations. However, despite this, and in respect to the normalcy that has started to be restored, Kenyans are still on the streets even without these political mobilizers. Begs the question, 
Which laws have informed the actions of the police this week in their mandate to protect life and property? Where is Honorable Martha Koome? Why are you allowing this to happen? Why are you allowing the courts to be defiled by police officers and by the state? Why I, where is Maina Jenga? Why has he not been brought to court? Who grants bail? Is it the police or the judiciary? Why is the Chief Justice acting oblivious about this temerity and bravado by the police to walk in a courtroom and defy court orders? Tracy Ocheng reporting for GBS News.